Okay, on 7.6, um, this is a review problem first off. Graph the equation. And I want to start you off with a review, and then there's going to be a much quicker way to do this, but you have to do it correctly. Okay, so to graph that equation, that relationship between x and y, okay. You, what we did before was we picked numbers for x, just random numbers. I didn't really go random. I did negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. Then under the y column, you put the expression the y equals, which is negative 3x plus 2. Okay, remember what that means. It means times, 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 times. Now just put a negative 2 over the x, okay? Put a negative 2 over the x. So negative 3 times negative 2 plus 2. So negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8, okay? Let's circle that. Now if I put negative 1 in for x, negative 3 times negative 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. If I put a 0 over the x, negative 3 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2. Okay, if I put a 1 over the x, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, plus 2 is negative 1. If I put a 2, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, and negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. All right, now to graph it, remember this is your x, this is positive, this is negative. This is your y, up is positive, down is negative. So negative 2, 8, so I go to negative 2 on x, so negative 1, negative 2, then I go up 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 2, 1, so negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 2, so I go up 2. Okay, 1, negative 1, so positive 1 on x is here, negative 1's down, and then 2, negative 4. Okay, then those points line up in a straight line, and I can graph them. Now, wouldn't be wouldn't it be nice if there's a quicker way to do this? I think there it would be. Okay, I don't even need a calculator. I don't need to make any calculations. It says graph the equation by identifying the slope and y-intercept. Now you did a assignment where you looked at an equation and found the slope y intercept. Now you're gonna the point of it is you can use it to graph quickly. Y equals one fourth x minus three. Okay, if you want to make that a negative three, could be my guess. Make a wall on the y side, make sure the y is by itself. If it is, you come over here, the number in front of the x is your m, the other number is your b. Okay. That is my slope and y-intercept, respectively. Slope, y-int. So slope is 1 fourth, and the y-intercept is negative 3. Now, plot your y-intercept. This is the y-axis. It's not that one. It's this one. This is positive. This is negative. So go to negative 3. So you'd have to go down. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Plot a point. Then you use your slope to get the rest of your points. We're going to make two more, okay? Now, a slope is rise over run, okay? Rise, run. We always run forward, okay? And if the rise is positive, we move up. Now, I move from this point, not from the middle, from this point. So I go up one, forward four. Do it again. Up one, forward four. And that's three points right there. You don't I don't need any points that way because I'm going to take my ruler and make a continuous line. 
you need to put arrows on both ends, okay? That line has all my points I need. Okay, next problem. Y equals 4 fifths X plus 6. So make sure the Y is by itself. And then I have M and B. So slope Y int. So the slope of the line is 4 fifths. And the Y intercept is positive 6 this time. Okay, so I plot my y-intercept. This is positive, this is negative. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now I use my slope to get the rest of the points. Sometimes you can only just make a second point, and that's fine, okay? So, remember, it's rise over run. The run is always forward. The rise is positive. So I go up four, forward five. Okay, so up four, forward five. You don't need to do it again. Okay. Two points would be good enough. I usually make three if it's possible. Okay, put arrows on both ends. Okay, next problem, y equals negative 8x plus 2. Okay, so I've got m and b. m is in front of the x and then b, so slope, y intercept. Okay, so the slope is negative 8 and the y intercept is plus 2. So you plot your y-intercept. Now one thing, your slope needs a number under it. If it doesn't have a number under it, you underline it and place a 1. So plus 2. So that's your y-intercept. Okay, Remember, positive this way, negative that way. Then from there I go forward 1, down 8. Okay. No, oh, sorry, sorry, I didn't explain that well. Remember, it's rise over run. The run is forward all the time, but this time we're going to go down because it's negative. So from this point, I go down 8, forward 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, forward 1. I don't have room to do it again, so I just graph a line with those two points. Okay, next one, y equals 6x. So the y is by itself, so I've got m, but where's the b? Well, then I put a plus 0, okay, and that's my b. So slope, y int. So slope is 6 over 1. Again, you need your slope to be a ratio, so you place a 100 if it's not. And the y-intercept is 0. So the y-intercept being 0 is right in the middle. So 6. So forward 1, up 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, forward 1. And then I, I can't do it again. Okay. So again, 0 right there. Then up six, forward one. The bottom number's forward. The top number sometimes goes up if it's positive, down if it's negative. And there's a line. Okay. Okay, next one. Y equals five, six, X minus three. So the Y is by itself, so you got M and B. Make that plus negative, okay? All right, so slope, Y intercept. The M is the slope, so 5 over 6, and the negative 3 is the Y intercept. So the Y intercept is there. That's positive, that's negative. This is the middle, 0. 
So negative 3. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. I plot a point. Okay, then it's rise over run. Run is always forward. The rise, well, it's positive, so it would go up. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You don't have room to do it again. Okay, and there's your line. Okay, next one. I'm going to delete the next problem. Y equals 3 fifths X minus 2. Okay, so the Y is by itself, so you have your M, you got your B. So slope, Y intercept. So the slope is 3 fifths, make that plus negative 2, the Y intercept's negative 2. So you go after Y intercept first. Okay, so 1, 2. Slope is 3 fifths. Okay, remember slope is rise over run. So it would be run forward and then rise of 3. It's positive, so that's up. So I go up 3, 5 to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I do it again if possible 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just barely. Okay, so that's the path of the line. Basically, you got to know the line's path, the correct path. Please put arrows because the line's continuous. It keeps going. So really, I can just bang this out one right after the other. Okay, y equals negative 5x plus 7. So the y is there. And then m and b are on the other side. mx plus b. Okay, so slope, y-intercept. So the slope's negative 5. The slope always needs to be a fraction. So you put a 1 under it if it's not a fraction. The y intercept's plus 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, then the slope. So that's rise over run. So the run is always forward, but then that's going to be negative. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right, 1, okay. All right, steep line, big. y equals negative 3x plus 6. So the y is by itself, and you got m. B, MX plus B. So slope, Y int. So the slope is negative 3, the Y intercept is positive 6. Okay. So positive 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And remember the slope has to be a fraction, it has to be a ratio. So the 1 is your run, okay, rise over run. And since I have a negative on top, the rise is down, okay. So 1, 2, 3, down 1, 1, 2, 3, forward, forward 1, okay. Y equals negative one half x plus four. So M B 
be slope y int. All right, so the slope is negative 1 over 2, and then plus 4 is your y-intercept. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, it's positive 4. Remember, positive, negative. Okay, the slope negative 1 half, it's rise over run. The run is always forward, okay? We need that run to always go forward, but then the top's negative, so that'll be down. Okay, so, so down one, forward two, down one, forward two. Okay, you keep doing it, but you get the idea after three. There's your line. Remember, if you run out of room on the third point, that's fine. Okay, now this next one's kind of a weird one because you run into a problem. So you got M and B. So slope. 5, that needs to be in ratio form, so you put a 1 under it, 5 to 1, and the y-intercept is positive 10. Problem is, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, see, it's rise over run, so it'll be forward 1, up 5. Well, if I plot 10 all the way up here, there's not enough room to go up 5, so we need to count by twos on this one, okay? We'll go by ones on this one and twos on this one. So, y-intercept 10, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So you just label it 2 there, twos, 2 apostrophe s. Okay, rise is 5, run is 1, okay? So, Remember by twos, so two, four, five, one, rise of one, okay? And there's the line, okay? You can't do it again, but that's okay. Two points is all I need to construct the line. Okay, and then you got your sign problems there, okay? Six of them.